All right. Up next, we have a PS5. There we go. Right. What's actually wrong with this? I haven't looked. Um, let's have a nose, shall we? Blue light of death. Okay, cool. We have a blue light of death. Gotcha. So let's confirm that, shall we? This has been dropped. This drive's making a funny noise. It's been dropped. Listen. Did that confirm? I don't know if that's coming through on audio, but I can hear the disk drive making a noise when I first turn it on. Uh, it's another 1200 series. Okay. Cool. Right then. Okie dokie. It's a 1200 series PS5. Seen a few more of these coming lately. You probably don't give a damn about what I've got to say, but just hear me out for a minute, alright? We all know that those sweaty little douchebags with cheesy fingers, living in the mom's basement, drinking Red Bull and simping over TikTok losers are gonna break the console. And you and I both know that you're too cheap to buy off eBay, you're too impatient to wait for AliExpress and you're just about smart enough to avoid Amazon completely. You could admit it, because I'm exactly the same. That's why I started my online store, consolefix.shop. I'll sell every part you'll need to fix the Xbox One, Series S, Series X, PS4, PS5 and Nintendo Switch consoles. So why not give me the money instead of some random dude on eBay? At least if I have it, you know it's not going to waste on some stupid thing like promoted eBay listings or food for the kids or something. If you give me your money instead, I promise I'll use it on useful things like buying views on TikTok. So before you decide to go to one of the more popular sites and line the pockets of some fat cat loser, take a look at my online store. Check out the link in the video description or the top pin comment and get 10% off any order over £25 during checkout. Alright, now you can go back to watching this douchebag on YouTube trying to fix something. You can't say stuff like that on an average, dude. You're not my dad, dude. Don't tell me what to do. That's what you think, Phil. Let's connect up to you, Art, shall we? Right. I don't care what the solder joints look like. This is just a temporary connection. I will put a tad of flux on this though. We want to make sure we get a good connection on the data lines. We also need to make sure that these don't bridge across anything else. Cool. Actually, let's... Uh, we're going to have to clean it all up anyway, so I might as well solder this joint properly. Make sure it's got a nice contact on it. Yeah, that's a bit better. Slowed up the terminal, port port 19. Uh, 8080, double one, double O. Ha, <laughs> DDR6, chip number five is damaged. Right, lovely. We have another faulty RAM chip. <laughs> uh, okay, well, what I am going to do is just read the rest of them. Okay, so apart from that code, which I don't know if I've got that one in here. Uh, unexpected power outage. All right, yeah, that's fine. Um, so that's just saying that it's been shut down unexpectedly. Um, but that's whatever. So I'm going to clear it, clear the error codes, and then I'm going to pair it on again. Right, so now I'm going to read that again. Yeah, double one, double, uh, double one ten. Okay, so 
Yeah, so that tells me that Ram Chip number five is damaged. All right, Ram Chip number five it is. All right, so desolder that. It is now no longer needed. I'll clean that flux up in a minute. Now I'll get to actually tearing it down and sorting it out. Yay, it's Samsung RAM, sweet, okay. Awesome, because we've got some pre rolled That should be a quick, uh, wait, what? Should be a quick job to do. Right, so, RAM chip number five is gonna be that one there. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that one there is the bad one. According to UART, anyway. Yeah, so this chip here is apparently bad. Uh, it's a Samsung. Let me just make sure I've got the right one. So I've got Micron, Skynix. Where's my Samsung gram at? 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 Wait, I haven't got one pre-board. Never mind. Well, that sucks ass, doesn't it? Um, while I'm preheating that board, there's the model number. Um, Michael. Right, should have enough heat in this board now to do my thing. Okay, that was a decent lift. Doesn't appear to be any oxidised pads. Yeah, have some low melt solder. Not that I need to do that, it's just that this is uh this tub's expired, so this tub of solder paste is expired, so I'm uh just using it to waste it. Literally just using it to waste it. You don't need to use low melt solder for that. Certainly makes it a lot safer though. Right, let's pick a random RAM chip off here. This is actually uh, EDM033 board as well. I'm going to use plenty of flux because I don't want to end up with oxidised pads. Good news is I know the uh, origins of this board. This board was banned. So I know that this RAM works. 100%. Still ended up with oxidised pads. Uh, 
All right, eh? And just like magic, the pads come back, look. Do you believe in magic? Right, okay, that's good enough. Right, 0.45 mil. Right, that'll do. Stop reheating the chip. You can use 0.5 mil solder balls on this, by the way. Well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> there was IPA still underneath the chip. Never mind. Do the rest by hand. I was too busy focusing on chat and not on the chip. You know what they're saying? Never take your eye off the ball. God damn it. Ah, flux on the on the tweezers. Wait. Right, yeah. Stupid motherfucker. I should have used 0.5s. 0.5 are better for these stencils. The chips are designed for 0.45, but 0.5 are better on these stencils.
You're really going to keep popping balls out, huh? Really? The ball's not even dried out yet, what the fuck? You know what? You two can stay out. Fuck yeah. God damn. Oh, they are starting to dry out now. Get a nozzle on it. Don't you fucking dare. He's done it, hasn't it? Oh, no. Ha. Finally, you stupid mother. Yeah, that's good enough. Right. Bottom left. There. Just like that. Right, we are. Airflow 10%, 440. Wasn't actually pressing on that, I was just tapping it to make sure it doesn't slide. A random solder ball on the side of the chip. That was nice. Cool. Soldered. Boom. She's turning on. But the thing is, we had this yesterday as well, and then as soon as the ball cooled down, it wouldn't turn on again. So, I have to, well, first of all, make sure it gets to a white light, and then after that, yep, it does get to a white light. Good. So now I need to just make sure it displays. I can do that with the uh, HDMI tester. Make sure it's got a display and then strip it all down, clean it out. And once I've put it back together, test it again and make sure it actually stays on. So, yeah, I have to double check and make sure. Beep, beep, beep. There's a the triple beep of success right there. Oh well, what's perceived as success, and we get a display. Cool. So I'll take it all back apart, um, clean it out, and then yeah, and then test it again. Right there, we go. Cool. It stayed on. Good moment. Of truth. Yeah, buddy. Is FIFA on there? Let's find out. Of course it's on there. <laughs> Fucking FIFA!